Good morning, readers and writers. This is Kanik here with another wonderful word study. Today we are going to do the fun prefix circum or circu. Circum and circu have the same meaning. They simply mean around. Whenever you have a word that has circum or circu in the, in the beginning as a prefix, that word is going to have something to do with the movement that's around, kind of like the finger indicates there, to go around something. Um, again, like I said earlier, the word part is a prefix. Uh, from the Latin language. It comes from Latin. And just a few examples. I put some illustrations for you there of, of things, an object that is going around the sun, aka our earth. Um, our earth is revolving around the sun. It is in a circular path that's circulating around the sun. And the finger is showing the, the movement of a circle. So those are just a few words I wanted to throw out. But I do have some examples for you at the bottom. The first word is circumference. Circumference. The circumference is basically the distance around a circle from you know point A all the way around the widest part of the circle back to the to the part where you started at. That would be a measure of the circumference. This year in math, you're probably going to be doing some uh, measuring of circumferences of circles. The second word I want to introduce today is circular. Circular is an adjective. It describes anything that has a round shape. Um, that you could have a distance around something. Um, the word circle is a word that basically is a name for a shape that has a circular shape around it. So circular would describe anything that is the, in the shape of a circle. And the third word I want to talk to you today about is circuit. Now circuit is kind of a hard word to understand, but it's something you have in your house and you also have it in your body. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about an electrical circuit, you know, um, but I'll compare it to your circulatory system in your body, which is something that carries your blood flow. So I, can, I guess I can explain it like this. An electrical circuit is, in, in a lot of ways, it's similar to your circulatory system because if you think about your body, your blood vessels, arteries, veins, and your capillaries are all like wires in a circuit, kind of like wires in your house, for example. The blood vessels carry the flow of the blood through the body, just like the wires in a cir circuit carry the electrical currents to various parts you know, throughout your house, different appliances and different systems that need the electricity. Um, your heart's like the pump that drives the blood circulation through the body, and it, it gives it the force necessary to kind of keep it flowing and have it you know, come back. In the same way that a generator or like you know, electrical um, you know, batteries and generators in your houses send out the voltage, which is, you know, the, which drives the currents through the circuits in your house. So it's, it's you know, it's where electricity kind of goes out in a path um, through the wires, uh, travels to the appliances that need, you know, the energy. Some of it gets used when the, the machinery or when the uh, appliances are on. And then um, it, it travels back to its source. Um, so that's why it's called a circuit. So, wow, there you have it. Lots of circular, circum, circu words for you to think about today. And um, I hope this helped explain something you have in your bodies as well as in your house. So when you go home tonight and snap on your lights, I want you to think this is an electrical circuit I'm using right now. Have a great day, readers.